Thanksgiving is right around the corner. Would it be helpful to have an extra big electric skillet on your countertop? Gee, I don't know. You think? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> hey, this is from Copper Chef. And as we mentioned, as I like to say, there are a lot of copper wannabes out there. There's only one Copper Chef. Eric Thies brings us this item as well as the Power Air Fryer coming up. Already incredibly popular. Happy Sunday show. So let's talk to you about a one day only price item. We're leading yeah. our show off today with a, with a one day only. And here's what's happening this price only good until end of day today or until the item sells out, whichever happens first. This is also the lowest price you're going to see on this item for six months. Do the math. Whoa. This is going to be the lowest price before Christmas. Now, can I tell you also, ordinarily on QVC, this is $44. Our price today, $29. Whoa. And because everything's on easy pay, four or better, this is four payments of what? $7.49. Oh, come on, guys. Let's back up a little bit and right. talk about Copper Chef. Let's do that. Talk about Ceramitech nonstick coating. Yes. So, Copper Chef, we use Ceramitech nonstick coating. My opinion, the most modern, up to date nonstick coating out on the market. It's made of ceramic. What does that mean? Ceramic is made of sand, one of Earth's most abundant uh, resources, which is good, right? But not only that, it doesn't have PTFE. Never had it. We didn't have to take it out. Doesn't have PFOA. Never had it. We didn't have to take it out. No BPA. Never had it. So it, it, it started out pure. It's very, very hard, and it can take the heat up to 850 degrees. So you know you're covered with all of your cooking techniques. Well, Eric, I'm going to tell you two things. Number one, yeah. we're not getting a reorder in on this. Yeah, I know. So there is no chance we can bring this back in. So if you want it, you want to get it now. And I'll also uh, just kind of add a little fuel to the fire. Uh oh. <laughs> Over 200 are already out the door. Just like that? Everybody's using that four pay. And how many strip steaks do you have here? One, one two, three, six. Easy. I, I could have even put more. So look at. Can we get in? Look, look, at, look the at the sear, sear that I'm getting. On these. Now, we just started these. I had to actually flip one before David walked over because you try to time it right. But look at that gorgeous sear on that. And you know what that sear is? Flavor. That's an extra layer of flavor that would not be there if you didn't take this step to sear these steaks. Now, because this has that tempered glass cook and look lid, yeah, once I'm, you sear this on both sides, you could clap the lid on there and finish them off, couldn't you? Exactly. Or just even keep them warm. Now, I'm going to let these cook for just a second, and then I'm just going to start to make a sauce in here. So I want to show you, this is your skillet. It's 12 inches wide by 18. So it's big. It's, it's, it's very full capacity. But not only that, it's got five quarts of capacity. So when you put the lid on, think about it. It's a five-quart casserole. It's um, five quarts of mac and cheese. So do you have to always fill it with five quarts or six strip steaks? No. But isn't it nice to know that you have the extra room to cook? I like to cook in something a little bigger. Give me the room. Ready for a big number? Oh, yeah. 1,200 of these. It was like five seconds. And a moment ago, it was 200, right? So another 1,000 have just been ordered in the last minute or so. That's incredible. Please don't wait on this. We cannot get a reorder on this electric skillet. It is Copper Chef beautiful Ceramitech nonstick coating. This is an easy wipeout in your sink. Now 1,500 of these are gone. I do want to remind you that if you want this before the holidays, now is, the, is going to be the best price we're going to have before the holidays. And at this rate, as quickly as these are selling, I can't imagine we're going to have any more before the holidays. Now you take those beautifully seared strip steaks out, those right. New York strips, and then look at all this left in the pan. A lot of flavor. All those bits and those little chunks of steak are all flavor. So you're adding in some sweet shallot. Oh man, are shallots like? Every time I use them, I'm like, why don't I eat shallots every day? Why don't I love we cook them? with shallots every time we? we every do meat? single time, right? <laughs> and then we're, I know, I just love them, even in my salad. And then we're just gonna deglaze with some red wine. Um, I always tell people, if you don't want to drink the wine, don't use it to cook. Yeah, okay? you should always <laughs> cook with the same wine you would drink. I right. For a long time, people thought, well, I'll just go out and buy a cheap no, a bottle of wine. Don't do, do you that. Do you want your recipe to be uh, to taste cheap? No. No. If you love a great wine to drink, then use that same wine to cook with. I do it all the time when I do short ribs. I pick out my my favorite Cabernet, and then I use it to cook with. Absolutely. Which is yeah. I spy crinkle cuts. Some for all him. Right. Some hey, for me. Can I tell you <laughs> that we are now? Okay. I'm unbelievable. Ready? <laughs> no. 3,500 of these are gone. Three, I'm not kidding. 3,500. We got to get busy. All right, all right. All right. Well, let me, so, let's go over here. Let me go over well, here. Well, while you do that, I'm going to grab a fry. Oh, yeah. And they're, right. I think they're just fresh. Uh -huh. They're delicious. Ooh, they're air fried fries. Because um, Christina, our food stylist, made them for me. I know. And she always gives you the nod of approval. Like, well, she's very good that way. <laughs> okay, what do you have here? All right. So remember, I told you guys it's five quarts. You saw the searing power that it had 1500 watts of power. It's got a very long Smells coil. That's amazing. Now I put the lid on and I braised. So I seared my uh, veal shanks. Look at this. 
made a little And they've been braising in this braising liquid for how yes. long, Christina? About uh, three to four hours, yeah. she said. Yeah, and uh, and guys, I'm not sure if we can see it, but I'm going to try to find one that maybe we can shoot down on. Actually, I'm you know, what I'm going to do to make this easier. Eric, excuse me one second. Take oh. a look at this probe. Sure. Oh, we got one right there. There we go. I want you to see that the probe is very, very easy to use, and because it's electric, this is very accurate. It is, and and what I like about it is, you know, a lot of times when you're cooking on the stove top, when you're cooking on the stove top, you know, you, you have to kind of guess. So what I did is I put a warm here. So you see the little uh, yellow? That's warm. When the little carrot over here lights up, you know that it's getting power. It cycles on and off, so it knows to keep it at a certain temperature. Now look, if we come up top, I have it on warm, and we just have these beautiful little simmering bubbles, right? Now, what, what is a braise? A braise is when you literally can take the bone right out. Now that is flavor. That's gonna be flavor in your stock that you are not gonna You've wanna miss. got all miss. that bone marrow in there too. Look, oh man, look oh, at this. And then what Lord. we do is we, we, uh, we wanna put this out over some mashed potatoes. You can do rice. Well, it's the way God intended, over mashed potatoes. Oh gosh, yeah. I mean. I mean, our, our hello comfort food. This is what it's well, all about. It's Autumn season year, right? is here and we are making all these delicious comfort foods. I can tell you now 6,000 of these are gone. As Eric plates that up, I'm keeping an eye on your chicken over here, Eric. Thank you very much. And it looks like it is already beautifully seared on one side. So we're going to come over and give you a quick look at this. These are airline chicken breasts, and they're lovely. But I want you to see all this, what my friend Chef Nate Collier from Le Creuset would call GBD, golden brown <laughs> delicious. Golden brown delicious. Do you see all that sear on this chicken? That's a whole extra layer of flavor that would be missing otherwise. I just turned the probe up a little bit because I want a nice sear on that reverse side. Yeah, and, and when I get back there, we're going to make a little, we're going to turn that into chicken cacciatore. So right here, I just wanted to show you guys. Can I, I just tell you real oh, quick before do. you show that? Yeah. We need everyone to use. Uh, <laughs> QVC.com and mobile apps because we are covered up on the phone lines. <laughs> How many? 7,000 of these it's are like gone. It's like it doubles every time. Every time I give you an update, another couple of thousand are gone. Um, I, forgive me. So All right. Let's kick Listen, we, we, we've already shown this. It's beautiful. I just wanted to show you guys that the braise you can get in here literally just falls apart just the way you want a braise to be. And if you have company, then what you do is you add the lid. Add the lid. Don't look at my spills. Add the lid. And then you keep the rest of it warm for the, for the rest of your company or the rest of your party. Are these going to be chili fries? They are going to be chili fries. Well, I think You're not that's waiting, a huh? fine plan. Look Ooh, at this. Look at that. First of all, how long has this chili been simmering? Uh, we did this for about an hour and a half. Okay. So it's a beef chili. Yes. Lots of really hearty vegetables. Yeah, we in got there. some corn in there. I love the corn in the chili because it just gives you a nice little sweetness to it. Now, if you want to grab a handful of that cheese. Oh, right you're there, darn right, I do. Yeah. Look at this. Chili fries. Here, let me put some down and then put it right over the yes, cheese. Yeah, so, it so it'll melt the yeah. cheese. Oh, my word. No. I'm sorry. I'm just going to need a little time alone with this. <laughs> wow, look at that. Isn't that amazing? Chili oh, cheese fries. So look how many scoops David took out of there, and it's still full. What's it's the capacity? Five quarts. Wow. It's a five quart vessel. So whether you're using it for searing or making a chili or a beautiful braise like we did with our short ribs, mm -hmm. um, our beef shanks, whatever it is, wow. it's going to be fantastic. Somebody call Stacy. Tell her the fries over here. <laughs> All right. So, right. nine thousand of these are now gone. Eight hundred people on the phone lines. We've done a whole breakfast here with two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen breakfast sausages. And a whole mess, as we would say down south, a whole mess of hash browns. Now, all right, so this is K47057. We've got, and, and we've got eggs, I think, ready to go into another one. We've got these beautiful veal shanks. And okay, you ready for a huge number before you dump out that sauce? Oh man, go ahead, I'll just 10,000 of these are now gone. That is absolutely incredible. See, people know a good deal. I mean, it's a great deal, guys. Look, we made a nice little pan sauce in this uh, for our steaks. We made the chili. We did a braise. And we did breakfast. We're going to do breakfast, but let's turn this chicken that David. Oh, look, you. I've already flipped them for you. You seared that perfectly. Thank you very well, much. Well, you know what? I can't take any credit. Christina did all the searing. <laughs> <laughs> I just flipped them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit it with a little wine. You see, it's got the power to sear, it's got the power to make sauces. I forgive me for interrupting you. Never. And now we're over half gone over half gone in this first item of the show. And that lets you know just how many have already been ordered. In fact, we've taken orders for now 
almost 11,000. That's over half our quantity that we brought in. And there's no reorder on this. When these sell out, they're gone. This is the lowest price this will be between now and Christmas because it one day only can only be this price. Well, can't be this price again for six months. And Christmas is what, like less than three months away? <laughs> um, so oh, this is what it's all about. <laughs> really? You want to get it now while the getting is good and having this extra electric skillet in your kitchen means less stove time on a regular weeknight, but around holiday time, it becomes your lifesaver. Yeah, I mean, listen, I know people that, that use this every day. They don't even use their stove top anymore. So we seared that chicken, we deglazed with some wine, we just added some um, tomato sauce and some uh, onions and peppers. That's it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit and use my lid. Hey, Eric, we're Please. gonna take this shot for a second. I want you to stand straight up, not move. Don't move, or oh, I'll move right there. See what that says right beside you? Santa, and it's pointing right there. <laughs> See there? Ho, 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 ho. Santa Claus. <laughs> all right. Hey, we started with 20. I have to give uh, my director my credit. He saw that. Um, all right. So we started with 20,000. I have 7,500 remaining. Over 1,000 people on the phone lines. Insane. Let me just tell you, we're not reordering this item. Can't get a reorder. We'd like to reorder it. We just can't. We can't get a reorder on this one. So please, if you want what we have left, you're going to get it at this super markdown one day only price. You're getting our four easy payments because everything in the show so it was today, like Eric. Seven bucks a payment. Seven dollars and change, right? We've got time for one quick phone call. I'm going to guess Ooh, before yeah. this goes. Yeah, so please, let's, let's say hello to, to Dolores in Florida. And as we do that, maybe we'll work on some eggs. Yeah. Um, hi, Actually, Dolores. Can we over? Oh, oh, you want to right. do that, right? Yeah, I want to do this one. Dolores, come with us down to the end of the table. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Nice to have you here. And what do you think of our Copper Chef electric skillet on the countertop? I love everything that's Copper Chef. Oh, I, I love you. I'm disabled, and I have to sit oh. down when I cook. Okay. So I have a wooden tray table. I can set it right on there. And that's why when I saw this, I grabbed it right away. Oh, you're a sweetheart. Well, and Dolores, I think you're also going to appreciate that probe that fits in the side because now you can very quickly and easily turn the heat up or down as you're sitting there and working on your food. This seems like it's tailor made for your situation. It sure does. Well, and everything you're cooking looks delicious. Uh, you know what? I'd love to take credit for it, but that's all Eric and his food stylist, Christina. They have done lovely <laughs> well, work. So um, I'm with you, I'm ready to eat. So um, <laughs> this is what it's all about. What do you think you're going to cook in here first, Dolores? Um, I'd like to try that chicken. That chicken looks so oh, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the cacciatore. So Dolores, it's so easy. I mean, it's just like a really uh, everyday Italian stew. It's tomatoes, onions, and peppers. You put some oregano and basil in there and call it a day. Well, exactly. And you know what, Dolores? In my new cookbook, I've got a 10 ingredient or less recipe for, ki uh, for chicken cacciatore. Oh, nice. So, um, oh, you know, oh. uh, it was originally called Hunter's Chicken. So this is something that's really exciting because you've got all those great vegetables and that hearty red sauce in there. Oh, it's oh, and then the chicken just just oh, and falls. And I'm going to order your cookbook too, David, as soon as it comes on. Wonderful. Well, <laughs> we're going to have it a little later in this show, and it's going to be on four pay today because everything's on. Oh, four your book's pay. today. Today. Oh, and it, yeah, I, yeah, we're going to be offering I've been it today. pushing it because. You have that air fryer section. Yes, a whole chapter. And I've been talking it up all day. Thank you. I appreciate that. All morning. Hey, Dolores, stay on. The, uh, stay tuned today. We've got a lot more to share with you, and our very best to you and yours. Okay. Thank you, David. It was a treat to talk to you. Thank you. The treat is all ours, Dolores. You take good care. Okay. Thanks, Dolores. Uh -huh. take Thanks, care of love. Bye bye. Be well. Bye bye. So we've now taken orders for over twenty thousand. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh yeah, twenty thousand. <laughs> True story. It's like five minutes. Oh, it's so sorry. Okay, we started with twenty thousand. I have thirty five hundred left. We're almost at twenty thousand. Oh my, that's okay. oh well. That 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 so makes it terrible. So out of the two th twenty thousand we brought in for the day, we have fewer than thirty five hundred left. Okay. I have fourteen hundred people on the phone lines, and there is no limitation. You may order as many of these as you like. So you want to pick up one of these as a gift, or if you're doing a lot of cooking, do you know Tina Borelli from KitchenAid? Of course. She cooks for thirty people on Thanksgiving. Oh, thirty people. In her kitchen. Well, she's got a lot of power in that they kitchen. They should put her <laughs> face on a stamp, don't you think? Oh, wait, I want to. She see. might need two of these. Um, what was that? I'm sorry. Oh, you want to be? <laughs> I want to be standing again this, this way. way. <laughs> this way. Stand right there. There we go.